what we have here today is a uh, Ford 4.8. This is a 2003. Uh, I'm just doing some maintenance on this. I'm going to change the oil and put spark plugs in it. Uh, on these 4.8s, if you don't know, uh, over time the spark plug can loosen on them and then eventually the compression will just push the spark plug right out of the cylinder and normally it'll break your coil pack and sometimes it'll even cause a fuel leak and you'll hear, a, you know, you could be going down the highway you just hear this massive, sounds like your, your, sounds like your engine blows up and uh, you know, then the, the cylinder's open so you're hearing all that compression blowing out of that cylinder while you're going down the street and that's normally what it is is the you know they didn't put a lot of threads in these heads on the 4.8s so uh, and then for whatever reason over time they loosen up and then finally they just blow out so what i i always recommend this engine's got about 85,000 miles on it so i'm going to go ahead and change them now uh and i use motorcraft you know i always use motorcraft plugs when i work on these 4.8s but I would, if you know, if you have a 4.8, uh, the best rule of thumb is to change the plugs about every 80,000 miles or so. I mean, don't don't let it go, you know, 100,000 or more, because you have a greater chance of that plug blowing out of the cylinder. That's something you don't want. So this isn't going to be a super long video because I'm kind of on a time crunch today. But I'll just show you uh, some kind of highlights of it. <clears throat> it's usually on these these 4.8, it's usually pretty, it's pretty straightforward. And you get into the the newer Triton 5.4s, and that's when you start getting into the busted spark plugs and all that kind of stuff. But normally on these 4.8s, it's pretty straightforward, uh, easy job. You know, we'll remove this air intake on the on the driver side. That'll give us access, and you just go through and and uh, pull your coil packs, pull your coil packs, and the plugs down in there. Uh, so, like I said, this. Won't be a super long video, we're just going to do some highlights on it. But if you have a Ford 4.8, the best advice I can give you besides buying Motorcraft plugs is to change the plugs out about every 80,000 miles. And then you're going to, you know, hopefully avoid blowing one out through the uh, cylinder while you're driving down the street. So we'll get started on it. Uh, one thing I will add before, usually when I do a job like this, before I start taking the coil packs and stuff off, is I'll take an air hose and just blow off the engine real good and then uh, when I take a coil pack off I'll blow I'll put the air hose down in there and blow that out so nothing falls into the uh, engine while we got it open so these coil packs are seven millimeter bolts right here so the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and Remove that seven millimeter bolt, and you'll pull the coil back up. Most of the time, you can keep them plugged in. If you feel more comfortable, you can unplug them. Uh, and then, like I said, it's way down in there. So I'll take my air hose, blow out that hole, and that gives you. Uh, you know, clean hole to work with, taking the plug out. All right, another thing I'll add, uh, I already took this one out and I'm getting ready to take this one out and there was some oil down in where the spark plug was at. So if you, you know, a lot of times it's the valve cover leaking and then it'll go down in there and drip. So if you got a lot of oil down uh, in where your holes are at, check your valve cover gaskets, make sure they're not leaking. And, uh, dripping down into your hole there so this now these 4.8 you can use a regular 5.8 socket to get them out on the newer tritons and stuff they have a special socket uh, looks like this and it's a lot thinner it's a thinner smaller socket because you can actually get your I got sucked down the hole or, or it'd be a big hassle so they actually have you know on the newer edges they have uh, different socket tools you can use to get those out so to get 
get them out, you just, like I said, these 4.8s aren't bad at all. Uh, just like any other car, basically. All right, so I got the driver's side done. Uh, you can see here the original plugs. Uh, like I said before, these can blow out if you wait too long. I was thought about us to show you guys the kit. You can actually fix it without pulling the head off. If you blow one of those out of the cylinder, if one of them blows out of the cylinder, uh, you can get one of these kits. This one's probably about five years old. They might have newer ones now. And uh, it comes with everything you need to uh, install one of these Healy coils to repair that hole uh, where the plug blows out without taking the head off. It saves you a ton of time, ton of money. It gives you the instructions with it. Uh, anyway, this is, you know, this kit, it was like $300. I don't know what, it might be cheaper now. Um, and it comes with several Healy coils, so you can fix several of them. Uh, before you have to replace, before you have to buy more Healy coils, I think there's like ten in there. So this is an alternative. This is a very good tool if yours does blow out of the hole to to repair that without having to pull the head off. So that's just a little. Uh, and then on the Tritons, the five four Tritons, their plugs break when you take them out. I've dealt with that many many times. And this tool here is made by Lyle. And what this does, it helps you get the broken spark plugs out of uh, out of uh, your Triton engine without pulling the head. I don't know. I don't remember how much I've had this quite a pretty long time. I don't know how much that cost off the top of my head, but uh, this tool's been through several revisions. And they pretty much perfected it. So, uh, yeah, if you want to, if you need to, if you have a broken, if a Triton with a broken uh, spark plug, which they break when they come out when you try to pull them out, this this kit's uh, must have to get them out and uh, get back on the road. All right, so I got the driver's side done. The passenger side is pretty much the same thing. Take out all the coil packs. The only one that I have to use is this first one here. Uh, you know the fuel rail and where the fuel comes into the fuel rail it, it gets in the way of the first plug and I always had better luck if I put my socket or my extension on this side of the fuel rail instead of on this side towards the front it seems like it binds up more if it's on the front so I always put it behind here and I've never had to remove these these fuel rails to do that yet so that's uh, the only trip trick I can think of on this side other than that they're all pretty accessible and I think that's pretty much it for this uh, you know again take your time make sure you put the plugs in straight you definitely don't want to cross thread these heads and uh, you know gap them out and like I, like I said earlier you know a good I would change them about every 80,000 miles don't let them sit in there too long because you definitely create more work if one of those blows out so that's pretty much it for the 4.6 uh, it's been a while since I've, since I've uh, repaired one of those plug holes, so I don't know, next time I get one come in, I'll uh, go through that. But uh, lately, it's been all 5.4 Triton broken spark plugs. So uh, anyway, I guess I'll wrap this video up and get the Supti back on the road. Uh, one last thing I'll add about this before I close this out, uh, kind of a PS to the video. On these coil packs, you want to check this these boots really well too, because these can can wear over time, and you'll get you know misfires through these boots if there's a crack or any kind of issue with these. So while they're out, now's a good time to go ahead and check these boots. Make sure they're in good shape uh, before you put them back in, because if you had any kind of misfire, uh, obviously you can you know it could be a coil pack or a plug or whatever. But these boots are real you know it's common for these boots to have issues too. So just look them over real well before you put them back down the hole.